My name is Oliver Kay. I'm a, a key account manager uh, for ScanTrust. We are a company um, founded and still uh, headquartered in Lausanne, uh, near the uh, uh, EPFL, the Technical University. We're about five years old. Um, we have offices in Shanghai, uh, Bangkok, Singapore, Kiev, um, Amsterdam, and Prague. And what um, what do we do? We are telling you a little bit, you know, very quickly, you know, what 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 what's our our uh, purpose of being uh, in business, and then I'm going to give you a, a quick uh, product demo. So we have 10 minutes. I need to go quickly through this through the slide. I unfortunately forgot my clicker, so I need to walk back and forth a little bit. Um, what we do, we are in the product uh, or packaging digital digitalization business. So what we do is we basically um, give identities to each single package, so on the unit level. So imagine 100,000 Coca-Cola cans, 100,000 Coca-Cola cans get their own digital identity. Um, and how are we going to do this? We're going to use um, a QR code which is a, a, a nice, nice device uh, to, to, uh, as a data carrier. Um, but a QR code is very easy to copy. So what we invented is basically a QR code that you cannot copy. And how, can we, how are we going to do this? Um, we create uh, we, uh, a secure graphic. It's a small little file, um, digital um, graphic. We put this in the middle of a QR code. So this this digital file is, uh, has about 50,000 pixels in its originality, and we reduce this to about uh, 3 by 3 millimeters. We stick it in the middle of a QR code, and then it's being printed or applied to your packaging. So a packaging partner, like a printer uh, uh, or label producer or a can maker, um, can print uh, the QR code with our secure graphic on it. And if you do that the first time, you have a loss of information. So the first time it's printed, it's basically um, has uh, not as much information anymore as the original digital file. Now a, a forger comes along, a counterfeiter comes along, wants to copy your packaging, and he makes a copy of your current package. And guess what? He copies something that's already imperfect. He copies something that is not that has a flaw already because once you print the first time, you have a loss of information. So he takes your he takes something imperfect, puts it on his packaging, and prints it again. And then that second print has yet another loss of information. And next time, if you have it in your hands and you 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 scan it with our app, we can detect that this that this actually is not the original. That's basically the principle behind what we do. And of course. The QR code, it starts uh, uh, the journey. We can attach all sorts of data to a QR code, a unique web, web address, and um, we can send this, this product and its journey throughout uh, the supply chain, and each event we can put on a, uh, on a blockchain. If you want to do so, here there's a coffee case that we have actually implemented, these guys here, uh, where I show you quickly what, what this is all about. Um, Again, the different labels, we have apps that come along with it, you know, like a consumer app and, a, and an enterprise app for, for, for companies. We have a portal where you can manage your products and the whereabouts of your products. Of course, we have a very rich data collection uh, um, engine, so each scan is basically a data collection point where we can get you a lot of rich data, so marketing Marketeer's Dream, it's, it's an online, on, um, t an, um, an odd uh, with uh, real-time data collection, so we can get you a lot of information. Who is scanning it? We can show you the product journey. Um, we we can send you uh, demographics and so on and so forth. Right. Um, and of course, there's a reason why we want to do this, because we want to give power to the consumer. The consumer wants to, wants to know where this is product from, what's, is, what's inside, if it's authentic, is this really a product or is it a fake product? I used to live in China, and uh, it's a daily a part of daily life. You just buy fake products, right? And um, if you want or not. And it's really hard to know if it's a real one or not. And we have, a, again, a system that, that, that you can scale. Um, so power to the user, um, blah, blah, blockchain, where does this come from? The magic dust, right? Yes, we sprinkle that on it as well. I told you we need to do a digitalization first. Um, four simple steps, put the sticker on it, um, track and trace, engage it, and then get some 
get, get results from it. Some of our customers, um, some of our partners growing daily. And what I really want to show you is what we did for this little coffee company. Um, they came to us and said, hey, we're a really cool company. We want to do something different. We, wanna, uh, we know exactly where we buy the coffee, but we're going to get our, our customers don't trust the fair trade label anymore, and we don't want to pay fair trade a big amount. So we, we want a technology where we can show our customers where this coffee is coming from. And basically what I did, so it's, it's the Cambios promise, it's the, the uh, young founders. And I show you a quick movie, what happens if you scan this code. And then I explain to you a little bit in detail. Oops. Hello, and welcome to a walkthrough of the Scantrust solution. Scantrust is a best-in-class solution for brand owners looking to address counterfeiting, Sorry. traceability, and... Well, you get it. Sorry. I don't have tone, but... Labels work directly on packaging. The second element is the ScanTrust app, available for free for iPhone and Android. The ScanTrust app signs to okay. the authentication and secure wrapping, as well as free for QR code to provide the uh -oh. consumer with dynamic digital content. This content can include traceability information to show detail about how the product was made and how it was shipped. The third element is the online portal. This is a dashboard and control center for brands to view and manage their data in real time. Brand owners can use the portal from a high level to monitor activity, or they can dive deeper to see the journey of individual units as they pass through the supply chain. ScanTrust's alerting function will send notifications immediately as soon as a counterfeit scan is detected. This allows brands to take action well before the problem gets out of hand. Each and every scan is analyzed and provides an opportunity to gather consumer data. ScanTrust's business intelligence reporting provides robust data that allows a brand's marketing team to make informed decisions for targeting their customers or gain visibility into movement of goods in their supply chain. The ScanTrust solution helps brands digitize their products, provide transparency, and empower stakeholders within the supply chain, and gain a deeper knowledge and understanding of their consumers. Please contact us. To yeah. Enough of commercials. Um so again, basically we start with a simple label and this label is printed by a trusted printer partner and they really just stick a label on it. And um, they also know where the product is sourced. So <coughs> what the consumer is does, it's, it's basically scanning the label, he gets it on his phone. We, we can show um, the ingredients. We can show some some propaganda. You can you can totally customize this um, with with uh, very simple steps. And most important, why we guys are here at this conference is this track and trace uh, based on uh, the information on the blockchain. So what we do here, it's uh, the harvest is done, um, and we can actually. <coughs> show when the harvest was, was, was done. We can show what kind of certification this uh, uh, cooperative or this farmer had, who, who certified them. Then we can show where, when this bag of beans was shipped, when it was <coughs> ended up at the roaster, when it was blended with another, with, for example, this coffee is made from two different kinds of beans, one from uh, Peru, the other one from China. And so, <coughs> We have a, a web interface uh, with a user logon where your trusted I, uh, 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 stakeholders can put in their digi digital information, such as shipping information, roasting information, um, blending, et cetera, et cetera, until it actually is in your hands. That's in a nutshell what, what, we, what we do very, very quickly. Um, there is one more initiative that we started called the Good Chain. It's basically a platform. It's a non-profit platform where we are a technology provider, but it's actually meant that the journey starts when you have a consumer that is engaged, this, for example, wants to do something for fair trade, right? So now I can start a dialogue. I said, hey, that's great, you know. By the way, do you want to know where this coffee comes from? It's by, by the way from Jose in Peru, and Jose needs a new wheelbarrow, and and guess what? Just by scanning this 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 uh, uh, package, you got 20 impact points. Do you want to give this guy your p impact points because he needs a thousand for a new wheelbarrow? So you can gift it 
to him directly, and eventually Jose gets a thousand points. He can convert it back to a hundred dollars. He can buy a new wheelbarrow. He can upload a picture of the new wheelbarrow with his son, and uh, you get a feedback loop on an SMS or a message that your 20 points or 200 points did actually something good directly to this guy in Peru. That's in a nutshell, what GoodChain is all about. We invite, uh, invite you all to come and learn more about it or participate. It's an open platform. We want this to be where all the products do something good in the world, uh, social impact, you know, very easily to done. Uh, so, questions very quickly. Sorry, I'm already out of time. Yeah, sure. The, 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 the uniqueness of the QR code, uh, at what level? Is it the package level or borrow level? It's uh, down to the unit, down to each. Every single Every single code. unit, yeah, How, whatever you call a unit. And then we can aggregate to a box, to a pallet, to a, you know, a using other unique identifiers, like RFID tags or something, whatever. So every uh, QR code that's been printed is unique? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Every, every single one of them has its own identity. Sorry, yes. another question. What are the interactions of the other partners on the network with the ledger? Pardon me? The interaction of the other partners on the ledger uh, in the supply chain. Well, you sign them up. I mean, it's your supply chain, right? So you need to motivate them that, that they supply you with, 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 with that's the question? Uh, with what they're doing with the, with the, the data. They don't the have the code yet. The code will be applied later on when it's packaged, right? When after the roastery, it gets the code. But the secure supply chain, you have to, you, of course, you have to make sure as a, as a manufacturer that what's coming through your supply chain is what's going into this bag, right? So we have an interface where the people can digitize their information such as shipping information, harvesting information, you know, so certifications, all this, we, we have, we, we solved that problem, but your suppliers, you need to talk to them and to, they need to be part of something like that. Okay, I invite you all to our stand later on. Thanks for listening. Have a good afternoon.